Hey, hey, what is up, Rush Tube? We're back. It is Rush Week, and today we're going to check out the isolated studio drum parts for Tom Sawyer. Now, what I'm going to do just to make this a bit more of an analysis video, it's my second time ever hearing the song. I'm going to bring up Rush in my Dromeo. And I tell you, I think I mentioned this on in the first video of Rush Week. They have got every single Rush song fully transcribed. Every song. I mean, look up here, displaying 187 results. Are you kidding me? So I'm going to type in Tom Sawyer. And hey, I'm going to follow along with the sheet music in real time. Let's hit it. Woo. That is a tight 16th note beat. Those little hi-hat barks as well. I love the syncopation on the kick drum and constantly varying it, which is so refreshing. Accuracy, I mean, it's just all about accuracy at this point. Textbook. Setting up figures like a jazz player. Woo. 30 seconds on the kick drum. So much to unpack here. I thought there were triplets on the song, the 30 seconds. Delayed display snare hit there. Oh. Hear how he's accenting the vocal part there. Very interesting how he caught the vocal phrasing. Tight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still on seven for the guitar solo. Three eight. Lots of time signature changes now. Woo. This will be a good one to learn. Triplets there. That is a really great part. Must be so iconic for the Rush fans. Those four bars. Kidding me? Interlude. Back to the 4-4. Four, four. So clean. So easy to follow because the intonation is so bang on. Nice subdivision every time. That vocal catch that he does there is really nice. Back to seven here. Oh, seven here, sorry. Now seven sixteen in this part. Three eight. Crazy. Mm -hmm. 
baby now. Okay. Okay, it didn't fade out, but on my sheet, it just ended on a cold stop. It had fade out written, but it did have a specific ending on the track. Okay, so for you guys, for you Rush fans, what I am trying to do, uh, hopefully you have noticed this uh, previously on other videos. Get my mic back into a, a good position there. Uh, I am trying to do the isolated takes as well, because obviously Neil is such a iconic drummer. Uh, it's nice to do a bit of an extra deep dive, listen to the actual song. Although admittedly, I didn't listen to the studio version. I did go for a live. It's just a lot more, it's a lot more visually interesting, especially for a video to have some live performance. Yeah, I, I would prefer to go for the live one. Um, but then to dig into the isolated studio take, you know, that's where we can really hear Neil's intonation accuracy. The effort that he goes to to clearly subdivide everything is just so on the grid and it's uh, it's just quite amazing and one thing i really noticed this time possibly because i'm doing the two listens back to back and i don't think i've ever really talked about this before is the musicality of the drumming things like capturing or sorry catching the vocal phrasing and that little bridge part I'm not 100% on the song structure of the song even after two listens yet. I think it was in like a little bridge part where there's a vocal thing. I, I mentioned it both times and Neil, you know, caught up with his kick drum. He actually changed the syncopation of his kick pattern to accentuate that vocal part. And I know Neil writes a lot, if not all the vocals uh, or wrote a lot of the parts for Rush and vocal, wrote a lot of the parts for Rush uh, vocally as well as the drums. So, you know, he will, of course, be thinking about composition and where he wants to accent certain things, emphasize them or leave them, you know, leave space for the vocals to shine. Musical drummer, it's a very, very musical approach. And I really noticed it this time that it really stood out. Now, just looking at the sheet music that had printed out um, as I was following along and I would hate to think how many time signature changes there are in the song. So it's a relatively slow tempo, 87 BPM. Starting out in 4-4, four, four, and then it goes to 7-8. Seven, 7-8, eight. Seven, eight, carrying on through the guitar solo. You get a bar of 7-16. Then 3-8, back to 7-8. Seven, 7-16, seven, this is in the, all in the guitar solo, back to 3-8. So just within the guitar solo, which is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Sixteen bars long. How many guitar how many time signature changes have we got in sixteen bars? We've got seven eight, seven sixteen, three eight, seven eight, seven sixteen, three eight, seven eight, four four. All within a sixteen bar guitar solo. Are you kidding me? And then you stack on top of that the subdivision. Constant subdivision changes. Now I know Neil, you know, I call Matt Cameron the subdivision king. Neil's up there as well. And that's what makes things so exciting. He's got headroom, he can change gear and basically play faster within the same tempo because he can reach for subdivisions. Now a lot of us, we can't reach for certain subdivisions. We might not have the facility or just the raw speed. Neil's got all this within his headroom. He can just change gear add a lot of excitement and drama to the drum part and the music in general and just switch gear and then he's off in this amazing fill that will just blow your hair back and then he's just back in the pocket you know laying down that nice half time 16th note groove really really classy stuff and very sophisticated i think that is a word that should be sort of synonymous with Neil Peart is sophisticated, probably with Rush in general. Sophisticated music for a sophisticated listener. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat deep dive analysis. Uh, it was a bit of a deep dive for me, you know, following along with all that. Super, super interesting and a great way for me to get 
more acquainted with Neil and his drum parts. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. Remember, if you want access to every single Brush song ever recorded, hit my 30 day free trial with Dromeo. Go grab yourself a few transcriptions. I will see you tomorrow as we roll on with Rush Week. Until then, ciao.